G'day everybody, welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. This week I'm going to do the composite I call Welcome to the Jungle and this is the photo that I'm going to start off with this week. It's what I've done on this photo so far. I've grabbed my selection brush tool and I've just opened up this group here and you can see if I turn off the background I've just selected some of the front tree trunks and the reason I've done that is I want to add a little bit of depth to this picture. So I've got this picture of embers here and I'm just going to turn it on and I'll come up here and change the blend mode to screen. I'm going to drag it all the way down to the bottom so it's above the background picture but behind all of these branches that I've cut out. So if you'll see if I grab my move tool you can see that some of these embers are now behind these trees. And that just gives me a little bit of extra depth on this picture. I'm going to make a copy of those embers, Command J. I'm going to move one above the jungle group as well. And that one I'll just turn off for now and we'll turn that one back on later. The next picture that I'm going to bring over in this composite is this tree trunk that I've already cut out. So I've just cut all this tree trunk out and just pasted it into my forest or jungle picture here. And the first thing I'm going to do with that, let's just call that tree trunk 1 because we've got another tree trunk to come over a little bit later. I'm going to add an exposure, so up to exposure. We'll clip that to this tree trunk and we'll just darken it down a little bit. About there is OK. We'll add another exposure and we'll grab that and we'll clip again that to the tree trunk and we'll brighten that one up quite a bit. And on that we'll invert it with a command I. So we've got that inverted. While we're here we'll grab our brush, come over to our brushes. It's just going to be a nice soft brush, painting in white, flow 25% and we're going to add some of our highlights onto this tree branch or this great big tree trunk here. So I'm going to brighten up the moss quite a bit and the moss here and along here. I'm also going to add some highlights along the tree here and you'll see why I'm doing this a little bit later and just down the bottom here We'll add our highlights. Okay, we've got those highlights in place there. What I'm going to do again now is right on top of this tree trunk, I'm going to add a new pixel layer. I'm going to come and change the blend mode to soft light. I'm going to change my brush to the pencil brush. So let's go down to the pencil and I'm going to pick maybe this one here, this pencil brush here. The colour, I'm going to double click and I'm going to pick sort of an orangey, musty colour about there. And on that layer in soft light, about 25% on the flow. The hardness is zero. Make my brush a little bit bigger and I'm just going to add some of that colour to my highlights probably think I'm a little bit crazy at the moment. It's okay. Let's add some of that colour, especially on this one. Then I'm going to change my colour again. I'm going to pick this moss green colour, activate that. I'm going to add a little bit of that as well. Just on these highlights here, especially on this tree here. Maybe make my brush a little bit bigger. Okay, let's just have a quick look at that. So it's this layer here. Let's turn that on and off and just see what we've done. We've just added some highlights. If we want to just turn that down a little bit, let's just take that down to about 75 on the opacity. So just added that little bit of extra highlights all over those branches there. That's not too bad. If you think you've done too much, you can grab your erase brush tool and we can just erase a little bit along there. That's sort of blended in a little bit better. Okay, happy with that. So, got that little tree in place. We might just bring down the exposure of the whole tree a little bit as well. 
So we're going to add our next branch now. So let's just click on our next branch and bring that one in. And that's going to be just right in front here again, adding a little bit more depth. So let's add an exposure to that as well. Bring that all the way down. About there looks pretty good. And we'll add another exposure. Again, this one we're going to make really bright. Let's clip it again to there. Let's make that really bright. And again, let's just invert that. While I'm here, just going to click on that branch now. And just grab my erase brush, which I've got. I'm just going to take a little bit away from the bottom there. There we go. It looks a little bit better. Okay, back on our exposure. Let's get our colors back to default by hitting D on the keyboard. Back to our brush. 25, let's bring that hardness down. Change our brush back to our, just our basic soft brush again. And let's just add some highlights to that and a little bit underneath here as well. Okay. Make that a little bit smaller with our command minus. And what we're going to do now is come right up to the top here and add a new pixel layer. And this is where you think it's going to be a little bit crazy. So on this pixel layer, we're going to come up to our brushes. We're still on our brush, but we're going to pick this dry media brush. So let's come and grab that. We want one with a bit of texture to it. So let's see if we can maybe pick this one here with a little bit of texture. We're painting in white. Let's turn our flow all the way up to 100 and our hardness all the way down. Let's make our brush a little bit bigger with our right and left bracket key. Right up in the corner here, I'm going to come back, sort of back to about here. I'm going to click once, hold my shift key down and then come down to this corner and click. Make my brush a little bit smaller. Again, right back here, click, hold the shift key and click. And let's just do lots of those right into the corner. Lots of different sizes on your brush. All the way down. Again, what I'm doing is clicking up here, holding my shift key down, and then clicking down here. To get these lines that we've got. Lots and lots and lots of different sizes. A little bit bigger again. Let's just keep putting some of those in, click, hold shift key and click. And that looks like pretty good. That's about enough for now. So what we're going to do on this layer here, come down to Gaussian Blur on our live filters and click on our Gaussian Blur and let's blur that just until we see, we want to see some of those lines about about there and we can always come back and tweak that later and we can always drop the opacity a little bit as well so we'll be playing with that a little bit later let's go a little bit smaller grab my move tool i might just turn that round in right into the corner there and then drag that out a bit more and as i said we can always tweak that a little bit later command zero so we've got our light rays in place so what we're going to do now is add our Jaguar. So let's add our Jaguar into the picture. And you can see that I've got the Jaguar sitting on that branch, the leg coming down on the other side. Again, we're going to add an exposure, clip it to the Jaguar, and then darken that down a little bit. Let's do another one, another exposure. Clip it to the Jaguar, nice and bright. Command I to invert, back on our brush over here and let's change our brushes again back to the basic brush. Nice and soft, painting in white. We're going to add some highlights to our Jaguar here. A little bit there. That looks pretty good. Maybe some on the whiskers here. Okay. Happy with that at the moment. I'm also going to add a lens filter to my Jaguar and clip that. And that's where I'm just going to bring that maybe a little bit of color back to the Jaguar there, maybe about there. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
Now the next thing I'm going to add is some of these leaves. So I'm just going to bring these leaves in. So I've got one in the corner here, one in front of that one again to add some depth, one on this side and then again another one in front of that to add some depth. And on those leaves I'm just going to group them and add an exposure. Clip it to the group and brighten those up a little bit. Again I'm going to invert that. Still on my brush, still 25% and I'm just going to add, still painting in white, just add some of those little highlights just to these little leaves that are here. Okay, that is pretty good on that group. I'm going to add a little bit of mist into the background here and I've got this picture of clouds. I'll turn it on. I'll just bring it up the top for now. We'll grab our selection brush tool and we'll just make a quick selection of this cloud. Just invert the selection up here and I'll just hit delete. Let's get rid of the marching hands, command D on our keyboard and now I'm going to bring that picture behind that tree trunk here. We'll grab our move tool and stretch it out and then we bring it right up to the top. So we've got those clouds all behind. We'll come down here to our live filters, add a Gaussian blur. On the Gaussian blur we'll turn that all the way up to 100 and then on the clouds we'll turn our opacity down just to your liking, just to add that little bit of mist. Okay, now we're just going to tweak a few things. Let's come back to our jungle group and let's add an exposure to that jungle group. So let's add an exposure, click it to the jungle group, darken that jungle group background down a little bit. Might just tweak my Jaguar a little bit on that exposure. Might just bring that down a little bit. Not looking too bad. So what we're going to do is turn on our other copy of the embers that we've had. So let's turn that on. I'm going to make another copy, Command J. Take that all the way up to the top. Add a few more of those little magical embers and turn that one down maybe to 50% and not looking too bad. So what we can do now, this is purely optional if you want, we can add some butterflies and let's move this one maybe over to about here and on each of those butterflies we can add a effect, so a layer effect here. Outer glow, we've got this blue color that we've picked here and let's just turn that radius up and our intensity down a little bit and we can do that to each of these little butterflies. Outer glow, make sure you've got blue. Radius you can turn up or down and intensity you can turn up or down as well. So let's just turn that one down a little bit. As I said, they're purely optional, whatever you'd like to do. Right on top, let's put a curves right on top here. Let's just bring that down a little bit, about there, making our little S-curve. If you want to adjust the light rays, you can make them a bit brighter or a little bit less. So there we go, everybody. That is my picture that I call Welcome to the Jungle. We can leave it where it is at the moment, or we can come over here to our layers, Merge Visible, and do our usual tone compression if you want to add that detail. Let's click on the detailed one here. Bring that down to 20% on our tone compression. Bring our exposure down a little bit. Saturation up a tiny bit. And we can just add a little bit of that detailed refinement there. And come up and hit apply. 
So there we go. If you have enjoyed the tutorial this week, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel. If you would like to support my channel, hit the super thank link below or head over to the Buy Me A Coffee site where you will find lots of different sorts of assets that you can download and use in your own composites. But until next time, I'm gonna to say to you, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video.